What's going on YouTube? Josh here checking in. We're back in the home gym with another quick tip video. Today we're talking about basically maintaining a neutral neck position in the deadlift, how to do that, what are some cues for that. I think most people know that it's really important to maintain a neutral back, specifically your low back in the deadlift. You know, you can have a little bit of upper back rounding depending on, you know, how strict you want to be. It's really not that big of an issue. But what a lot of people tend to forget about is their neck, you know? Especially with, with folks who deadlift in front of a mirror, they end up kind of cocking their neck back when they're doing the deadlift, and it's really just not good for your, for your general health, and it can really put you at risk for straining your neck and stuff like that. For most people, you want to do a completely neutral neck position. And so what I mean by that, I'll just show you instead of talking, right? We're going to make this a quick video. So you're going to get in your regular deadlift stance, you get to your position of deadlifting. Now what you do with your neck is really important because you want to basically think about where you're looking at to fix the neck issue. So if you're looking in front of you at a mirror, this is not a good position because my lower back into my upper back should be pretty neutral. It should be like a straight line like this. You don't want, if this represents my neck, you don't want your neck like this, you don't want your neck like that, okay? So I'm gonna get into my deadlift position. I don't wanna be like this. I don't want my neck forward, okay? I want a nice neutral neck position. And I wanna keep that throughout the entire lift. Okay, keep that position maintained. So you essentially want to think about maintaining this distance between your chin and the top of your chest at the same distance. And so what I'll tell some people is if you have, uh, this is like a supernova, this is a, a mobility ball, a grapefruit, a softball, something similar to the size, you want to think about keeping that in this position. So I'm going to show you with this ball in place, it's pretty heavy, so I'm going to have to use one hand to hold it up but it's gonna just be there to prove a point. So I'm gonna get my, my deadlift position like this, and if I just put this guy right here, okay, that's roughly the position that I wanna maintain. This neutral position, and that's how I finish the deadlift. Okay, so you wanna think about maintaining that position the same throughout the entire lift. This is a really nice thing to do. It's something that when you're a beginner lifter, it's a lot easier to learn this than to learn this by the time you're deadlifting 600 pounds and completely rework your deadlift. So, you know, there are basically two things that you want to focus on when you're working on the neck position. One is this idea of having this cue of, of having an imaginary object to maintain this kind of same distance between your chin and your upper chest. And then the other thing that you want to think about is where your eyes are looking. Clearly, if I'm looking up, my head's going to be cocked back. If you're looking kind of in that right position, your starting position, you should know roughly how many feet in front of you you're going to be looking at. If you deadlift in the same place all the time, you can put an X on the floor or some kind of object that you can start off looking at and help you kind of get cued into looking in the same position every time for your deadlift start. So that's the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found this useful. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to post your comments and your questions below and I'll catch you guys all in the next video.